two, three, go. Go. Oh, okay. Uh, making a noose for your scarecrow. Take two. All right. All right, so today I've got a helper. She's helping me record, so if the video is really bouncy and terrible, that's her fault. I'm just kidding. She's doing great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the noose today for your scarecrow that goes around here and looks... We're going to tie a noose. So what you want to do is you still want to start out with some 3 8 inch, uh, just some rope. And what you can do is if you go, if you have some rope already and it's maybe too light, what you can do is you can take some dye and uh, go ahead and stick it in a bucket with some dye and water and let it sit for a few days and get darker. Okay. Uh, there's another rope that I think uh, you won't even need to do that. And I'll put a link for how to get that later. Um, but what you want to do is you want to measure out about six to seven feet. So that's there we go. Um, I think it's a good idea to go a little bit long, just so that way you have extra that you can trim off and you don't have to worry about it being too short. Okay? So I'd go a little long on this. All right, so what, you're wanna, you, what you wanna do first to make this is you wanna take your rope and lay it down on a surface and you wanna make an S. You see that? Make an S with the rope, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze the middle of that like this, okay? Watching? Then you're gonna take that loose, the loose piece, you got a loop and the loose piece, and you're gonna take that and you're gonna wrap it around the two and you're gonna wrap it real tight all the way around that and just keep going until you get a knot about that big and then you're gonna take this end right here and put it right between this loop like that and I'm gonna hold that there so it doesn't come undone because nothing's holding it yet I'm gonna hold that still and then I'm gonna come over to this side and I'm gonna pull the opposite side of this rope right here that comes right through to the other side and I'm going to make this tight. Alright, see that? I'm still holding it and this loop is going to tighten down on that piece. Just like that. Okay? So now you've got your noose. What you can do is now you can adjust it to whatever size you want. And that's it. Sometimes what I like to do, I'm going to undo it before I make it real tight. I'm going to show you one more. After you do it once, you can kind of figure out how much you need and kind of see how it's going to work for you. So I'm going to make the S again. Okay. Now this time, oops. It's not an S. So this time when I do it, I'm going to give myself a little bit more length on this side that I'm going to wrap. Okay. Give myself a little bit more extra, a little bit extra. Okay. So same thing. Grab the middle, start wrapping until you get about three or four wraps, just depending on how big you want that knot. You don't have to go real big. You want it to look somewhat realistic, right? Not too crazy. Um, so then I go around here maybe once more. Now this time I'm gonna tuck it in to that loop, right? This time I'm gonna leave a little extra. I like this because then you can fray the ends of this and fray the ends of the other side. It just adds some more character to your scarecrow. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten that other side. Tighten that loop right down on that. Holds it in place. And then you take the other rope. And that adjusts the size of your noose. So I've got this little extra end here that I can fray. Make it look, look 
Okay, so let's go ahead and throw it on our scarecrow. Just to test fit. That's it. Okay. That's all it takes to make the noose. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And then uh, next we're going to go ahead and learn how to stitch up uh, some of the areas on here to make it look like it's stitched together. And until next time, see you guys later. And thank you for extra help from my camera woman. So, thanks. Can you see me? Yeah. All the way up to my head? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so, hello, this is a test. And we're gonna see if Jordan can actually hold the camera. And then when I talk about things down here at my hands, I wanna make sure she can sh actually go ahead and, and show people how that's working. And she doesn't have to move the camera around a lot, just enough so people can see what I'm doing. I might do this. Okay. All right. Let's see it. What? Stop it. Oh. Coffee break. Out.